Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together, we're Mr. Happy 0121. Today, we're doing the bacon ranch fries from Wendy's. As I'm near death's door, I've been sick for about two weeks, and so I'm cheerful in this video, and it's fake. <laughs> Let's dig into these fries. Here comes a close-up. And now the close-up of the bacon ranch fries from Wendy's. You got a three cheese Italian blend. That's what this would be. You've got your applewood smoked bacon, and then you've got your ranch. These fries were $1.99. I was actually gonna do them last week when I got the chicken sandwiches. More on that in a little bit. But you know, I didn't have a co-host, and so I thought that I would wait, because I'm that kind of guy. Are you ready, sir? Sure am. Yeah. This will be awesome. Bite Uno. Bite two. I don't know if you guys can see it. He's got crap falling off his. I got some bacon, some cheese. What do you think of that applewood smoked bacon, bruh? Even their corny Italian three cheese blend isn't bad. Not bad. Third and final bite. Just a quick follow up on that uh, Burger King versus Wendy's chicken sandwich I did without you. I think the Burger King chicken sandwich gave me food poisoning. <laughs> I got really ill after that video. That's all. So I want to go ahead and take that, whatever, that 45 I gave it and make it a 15. Whoa, 45. Yeah, you would have you'd have to go back and watch the video. It was horrible, just absolutely horrible. Wow! And then you know, food poisoning. That would be two yeah. times I believe I've been food poisoned by Burger King in the course of seven hundred videos. Nowhere else have I ever been food poisoned. Keep up the good work, Burger King. Oh, the one that what was that? The, the long extra one. long burger. Yeah, it was like a sub burger. Or something. Yeah, that yeah. was like our seventh video, and I got food poisoning <laughs> right out of the gate. Good times. What grade do you give the bacon and ranch fries from Wendy's? Eighty nine. It's really good. I'll go with that. I'll go with the 89. I agree. The Italian three cheese blend, yes, I read it, was way better than I thought it would be. The ranch wasn't near as gross as it sounds mixed with cheese and everything else either. Went together very well. It did. It really did. And for $1.99, it's pretty good. I hear other places other people have paid more. I don't know it would be as good if they paid like three bucks, but for a buck ninety nine. Now to business at hand. We didn't get to do this Friday. For those of you that remember, we did this on a one and seven. Vienna sausage and Nutella. It didn't make it. And I swore to come back and do it as a one and five, so here we are. If it doesn't happen today, we're gonna be back on Friday and do it as a one and three. <laughs> if it survives the one and three, then it's getting retired. We're gonna go on to something else. So for those of you unfamiliar, I'm gonna count down three, two, one, and then he and I are both gonna shout out a number. If we both shout out the same number, we're going to eat this crap together on a plate. Let's hope we don't. You ready? I'm ready. You got your number in mind? You got it. I don't. See, I, I like to just blurt one out. It's all right. Here we go. I'm going to count down three, two, one instead of one, two, three. Okay. Three, two, one, two. One. Okay. I said two. I he said, said one. one. This will be back on Friday when it's a one and three. You know what? I think I, I'm going to change this up a little. Okay. From now on, I'm going to take pieces of paper and number them one through seven. And then when the video starts without you seeing it, I'm going to put a piece of paper face down. We're going to go ahead and do the one to seven and let you call out a number. And then we build the drama by lifting uh, the paper. Because if you and I are both shouting out numbers, sometimes it's hard to understand. It is hard to understand. But you said one, I said two, so there was no. So we're, we're going to update that this coming Friday. That's the new way we're going to do it. All right. Can't wait. I'm pumped up. I'm really not. I'm sick as a dog, and it's Super Bowl Sunday. We could buy like a mini raffle thing and put ping pong balls in it. One, two, seven. We're making this way too complex now. We are. B17. Anything else you'd like to add on this lovely Super Bowl Sunday? No. Uh, who are you picking today's game? Uh, <laughs> Can you name one of the two teams in today's the game? The Patriots. Is that who you pick? Yeah, sure. That's a great pick. He picks the Patriots. I pick Tom Brady. So he's on the Patriots. I guess I picked the Patriots. By the time this video comes out, you know, we'll be 24 hours too late. So we'll see. I just don't have anything. You just don't have I'm anything. so medicated right now. I was driving down the road earlier and I was going straight and I just put my turning signal on to go left. 
Megan asked me where I was going. I said, I'm going up there. How much Let's, cough medicine have you been drinking? I don't know. Some Dayquil, some Tussin, some Ibuprofen, some Dayquil, some Tussin, some you need, Ibuprofen. You need to take it easy on the cough medicine. Yeah. That's all we got for today, guys. I'm going to rally, though. I promise. By, by 1 o'clock, I'm going to have a beer. And so that'll <laughs> really help things. That'll, that'll really motivate me. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can find us on all social media, Mr. Happy 0121. You see how easy that is to do when you're medicated? Very easy. Just like a robot. Until next time, stay vigilant.